Hello, dear student. Hope you all are safe. Uh, today we are going to learn the new topic. The topic is honey bee castes. Its duties that performed by the various castes of honey bee like worker, queen, drone, and what is the behavior of honey bees? and it's a bee pasturage and the most important one how to communicate with each other in honey bees that we know all it's a social insect and obviously here the mutual understanding and mutual communication occur so what is the dances here performed by honey bees so we studied here in detail about this all topic so firstly so so first the various cast of development in honey bees so already we know well in honey bee colony that comprises of a single queen in each comb or in each hive having only the single queen okay somewhere sometime it happens or that accidentally that uh, death occur in queen so that time the worker bees that develop a new queen but in every comb on each comb have only the single queen okay clear so now same time in hive or in comb many many that drones or few hundreds of drones were occur and several thousands of the worker caste so it means what in single comb honey bee having three important caste is a queen number of that drones and several thousands numbers of worker of honey bees so we know well that queen is a fertile that its work is to lay the eggs and functional female workers okay and is a sterile female we can call them to sterile female and drone is a male insect so these are the major caste that were developed in honey bee colony here the picture i am showing you on slide it's a worker it's a queen which is the large in size with the large abdomen and this is one this is the flattened like a, a drone that is the male okay this is the important cast that were developed in a honey bee social insect now what is the important duties of queen okay so firstly the queen is a individual on each hive or each comb and which major function is it is a to lay the eggs in a colony for the further development of its generation that's why it is called as a mother of all bees okay so it lays about near about it say that uh, depending on each species here 2000 eggs per day they are given in case of the apis mellifera honey bees somewhere in case of apis dorseta also different maybe 3000 maybe 2500 2200 like that the different species where variation that the laying capacity of this eggs now the next one important duty the 5 to 10 days after emergence of queen which mates that called as a, a nuptial flight when will take by this queen and mate with the drones in a one or more nuptial flight after that when the, that that uh, uh, complete fertilization completion of fertilization queen return and to uh, start the lay start the egg laying okay so when when her spermatica is filled with the sperm and she will start laying eggs and will not mate uh, the any more with the drone queen life cycle is uh, near about 3 years okay and the major function of this queen is a mandibular gland where present on the queen 
and which is called as a queen substance okay and this queen substance is a very much important in case of the bee colony because of it performs a various function like to prevent the swarming even absconding of the colonies okay in case of the swarming means to immediately to leave the hive in case of this uh, like uh, uh, queen death occur or queen unable to lay the eggs okay or that uh, some uh, so, sometime that uh, anything happens inside the hive so that time this queen is perform function to prevent this one that means called as a cohesion maintain that means the colony cohesion maintain by this female prevent the development of ovary in workers okay so why because it's a one indication to gives the message to worker ki i am live i am not a dead i am i am that not a that uh, unable to lay the eggs i am that continuously lay the eggs like that this function to gives or that uh, perform say function or gives the impo important message to every worker queen can lay either fertilize or unfertilize eggs that depending on its uh, requirement of uh in hive uh honey bee okay these are the important function of uh, or duties performed by the queen okay now let's see the which are these important duties of drone the major important duty of drone is a to fertilize the queen and also helps in the maintenance of hive temperature in comb and they cannot collect like the nectar or pollen they all that work done by this worker bees they do not possess a possesses a sting or to gardening the hive like that not perform so this is the two important duties by this drone okay so very important duties that performed by the worker is a is a that continuously that till the adulthood or her life span around the 6 weeks can be divided into the two the first three week that very important for the performs the role in a build in the comb like the building of comb with the wax secretion even uh, that uh, through the wax gland that present on the worker so this all type of this comb build up even wax secretion like that the work done by this worker bees even all after that same time the worker bees feed the young one larvae those are hatch inside the hive through this queen with the help with the feeding of royal jelly secreted from its lateral pharyngeal gland this gives the young one and even also feed the older larvae and with the bee breed bee breed means what it's a pollen plus honey mixture or combination of pollen and honey called as a bee breed remember this one word feeding and attending the queen okay feeding the drones this all type of the food or that feed required to the queen and drones all type this work that uh, done by or to gives the this food is only by the worker cleaning the hive ventilating the hive and cooling the hive like that the work also performed by this same worker even also if anyone enemies that to chances to attack on comb or hive so same time the worker bees are attack that called as a gardening the hive we know all that when we any humans or any animals to uh, that goes near the hive immediately the one masses transfer to the uh, worker bees so all gardening those are the present inside this uh, uh, comb this all worker bees immediately attacks to other so like called as a gardening to gives the protection of its hive even also evaporating the nectar and storing the honey inside the hexagonal cells so this all that work done by this worker very important because it's a sacrifice all these okay that to continuously work that's why it's known as a worker okay now the rest of the life that after the three weeks complete the remaining work done by these worker bees called as like a, a collection of or called as the bee foraging 
that means what to collect the nectar and pollen even propolis and even also to collect the water from that moving water to cooling them its heave purpose this all that uh, outdoor duties performed by the uh, honey bees worker even also after this uh, work performed so major function to ripening the honey in honey stomach that is the conversion of honey okay this all work done inside uh, done through the worker bees okay so now the very important terms or that very chances to ask in a final exam that uh, short note point of view what is mean by bee pasturage or here some are the various terminology that mention so honey bees gathered nectar and pollen from the plants why it say food it say food to require the honey bee and what may be this plants that yield the pollen and nectar all collectively called as a bee pasturage okay so understood so this is what is mean by bee pasturage those plants are responsible or to gives the very much yield like a pollen and nectar and this all that collectively terms known as a bee pasturage or bee forage or nectar and pollen plants okay so what is mean by the honey flow period honey flow period means what it's very important definition when the days a good number of plants having the nectar to be foraged by bees is called as a honey flow period that means the plants continuously provide a nectar to the honey bees and th those days are very much uh, important that having the good number of plants okay so that called as the honey flow period if the nectar yield is abundant from a good number of plants that called as a major honey flow period where those particular species plants have provide good number of pollen or oh, sorry nectar that called as a major honey flow period and when the amount of nectar to be collected is very little or small quantity that period is called as the minor honey flow period same type of one another terminology that called as a dearth period dearth period not dead is said dearth period the days when there is no honey flow that means the, there is a no good number of plants to provide a nectar okay is called as a dearth period there is a no honey flow so that called as a the dearth period that is called this bee pasturage so now let's see in detail which are these good sources of plant good source of nectar that uh, uh, provide different plants number 1 is a tamarind okay this is the may very much provide the nectar even neem soap nut tree eucalyptus pungam moringa even that uh, uh, prosopis julifora glaricidia glaricidia tribulus so remember only one or five that uh, some plants which uh, having the rich or good source of nectar to provide the honey bees same like other plants also good source of that pollen which having the more number of pollen where occur sorghum it's a match some like the millets like bajra or ragi rose pomegranate sweet potato tobacco plant coconut plant castor plant castor trees and dead palm trees this is all plant are very much have the good source to provide a pollen so these are the two uh, two types of where that the pollen sources and the nectar sources plant others other vegetables also other ornamental plants also that to provide like that to two so, so now which are these some plants where the pollen and nectar are present like the banana citrus apple berries pear plum other peach guava sunflower safflower so mango so already we know well where that the sunflower and the safflower plantation or that to cultivation occur so they are the main species of honey bees where occur that means a tremendous so it's a good sources of pollen and the nectar plants okay so now the very important next topic what is bee behavior 
so in the duties of uh, field where that we learn or which uh, I, I already I talked that's what is in the swarming swarming is a natural method of colony multiplication in which a part of the colony that migrates to a new site and to make a new colony so that's called as a swarming but swarming is a, like a, that happens in many times sometimes where like a, uh, suppose in case the when a colony builds up a, builds with a new strength or the strength that uh, when the queen also that substance secreted by uh, that queen substance unable to secrete and falls below a certain level so that time the all workers and all cast that to immediately take flight and to leave the main site or main highway even also is a uh, potent instinct in bees for dispersal and perpetuation of the species perpetuation species okay so that time this swarming occur okay so which are the steps involved in swarming okay strong colonies when develop the instinct of the swarming development of the drone brood only and emergence of only the large number of only male the first sign of the swarming new queen cells are built at the bottom of the comb that time also swarming that involve when the queen cell are sealed after pupation the old queen along with the one third of or half colony strength moves out of the hive the first settle in a nearby bush and hang in a cluster so that time also that swarming occur the scout bees goes in the search of appropriate place for the colonization and later the entire colony moves where that to suitable soil first swarm which comes out the parent colony the with the old queen is called as a primary swarm the new queen which is a uh, emerge kills all other stages of the queen present inside the queen cell so that time also and sometimes the new queen has not allowed to destroy the stages of other queens in this case the new queen leaves the hive along with the group of worker this is called the after swarm or cost so this is all that steps involved where that the swarming occur in inside the bee hive so now what is mean by supersedure supersedure means what when an old queen is a like the sub, supplementary queen called as supersedure is unable to lay the sufficient eggs or hatch egg laying capacity is very less occur in the old queen so that time this she will be replaced or supersedured by the supersedure king that means what the new queen were developed okay so that called as a supersedure or many times when the she runs out okay so uh, for the spermatozoa in her spermatica and lays many unfertilized eggs from which only the drone emerges so that time also the supersedure terminology that were occur okay so like that so this called as a supersedure now what is mean by emergency queen emergency queen means what even that any happens with anything happened with the queen like the death occur of the queen and the eggs is uh, less than two and half days old in worker cell so in work uh, days old so that time in worker the cell are selected and the cell extended like a queen cell this type of the process that done by the worker why so where the new queen want to develop because it's a need to lay the eggs of do another queen and after that the development of the cell and which is uh, like uh, for the development of queen it is feed with the abundant of royal jelly this is a food required to development of this queen and converted into the queen this is called as a emergency queen okay after that when the another like a middle of this comb this uh, uh, cells are built by this uh, worker when the first one queen which comes out or emerges out the emergency emergency queen cells kills the other stages were developed by the worker inside the cell and then this new queen 
that goes for the mating after the mating by uh, with the drone immediately start the its uh, fertile eggs so that's time this emergency queen that required okay so now the very important topic the how to communication occur in honey bees so where the communicate communication means what so where the communicate with each other and passes their information using various pheromones or but in case of social insect of this uh, uh, worker or in honey bees where these bees communicate information through their very specific or peculiar dance occur by these bees and where the communication occur so like this uh, they have well developed communication system through the different types of dances occur even uh, like a system where through the different types of dances as well as the prophylaxis so prophylaxis means what it is a food transmission or exchange of food okay here i am mention prophylaxis okay which is common between the worker and also from the workers to the queen and drones why where the worker gives the food to the queen newborn larvae or old larvae even queen and drones like that the trophallaxis system or trophallaxis process occur called as a trophallaxis now what which are the dances where occur in case of the honey bees the firstly i i would like to tell you the honey bees there is a well developed uh, system that called as the foraging efficiency and this that time these types of the dances performed by the honey bees but first of all so these dances were uh, that uh, discovered by the firstly the speed speedsner okay in 1788 who for the first time described the bee dances as a method of communication among in mates of the hive about the volume of honey flu and place where this various abundant source of where nectar occur that time this type of this communication occur and this studied given by this studies given by this father of spidner but actually what happened during that period no one notice okay no one notice even is observation remain unnoticed when that the corn uh, one fish came and he discovered the his observation so that time we all know it's a communication by this uh, dances through the honey bee in uh, uh, communication occur in honey bees through the dances when when the observation given or its publication given by the corn one fish that's way the corn one fish that got the nobel prize in 1973 that's why his uh, his uh, contribution or his uh, theory is given this uh, communication by this for one fish okay so firstly what is mean by this uh, uh, dances where occur in honey bees here two types of dances occur the first one is a round dance and second one is a wag tail dance so firstly we'll see the round dance means what this type of dance is performed by honey bees worker if here all types of dance perform what purpose to the food foraging purpose if the food source is nearby where within the 100 meters in area in case of the apis mellifera if the 10 meters is uh, in case of the apis serena these are the different variation of distance to collect the food type of where this dance done by the round dance that performing a bee takes quick short step and runs around in a narrow circle here like that here i am the picture i am showing you here the queen or oh, sorry this sorry this worker the quick short steps and runs around in a narrow circle on the comb once the right and then take left and then repeating for the several second like that okay like that so this is called as a round dance why same time this honey bee 
takes waggle tail dance means what dance performed by the honey bee worker when the distance is more than 100 meters to collect the food or where the source of food were present in that particular area from the hive okay this is all that distance away from the hive in this dance the bees starts dancing on the comb making a half circle on one side here that i am showing you making half circle of one side and then takes a sharp turns to the runs in the straight line here sorry okay straight line uh, to the uh, starting point okay and then after takes another half circle on the opposite direction here this is another half circle for the opposite direction and runs in a straight line to the starting point the then the dancing bee makes wiggling motion that is a waggle motion that to shaking of its abdomen with her body that is why this dance is known as the waggle tail dance okay where occur when the food source is more than 100 meters to collect the food source or food for, for the foraging so this type of be known as the waggle tail dance so this is overall the all topic for uh, the your syllabus okay very important topic this uh, communication okay so dear student thank you